Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can keep on climbing even higher the 1K ladder. I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do for the intro. Let me know down in the comments below what I should change my intro to for that particular part because we're at over 1,100 subscribers now, and I never thought I'd get this far, and I'm just so appreciative to each and every one of you. I hope you are having a fan fantastic day almost lost my train of thought there my my mouth is talking quicker than my brain so i want to do a little bit of a market watch uh we do currently have the team ycs in las vegas going on so i thought it'd be interesting to look at the market um but i do want to give a shout out to kvi games um specifically their tcg player uh seller storefront uh, i'm gonna have a link to them down in the comment section because I don't want to risk my video getting struck down by YouTube for having a like a different link that's not YouTube or like something official like Amazon or Walmart or something because I've been having Amazon links in my description if you want to buy my book, shameless plug. Um, but I do want to plug in the comment section. It's going to be a pinned comment. Uh, shout out to my buddy John for his TCG player storefront. He hooked me up with the last bit of cards I needed for Cash Tira. So huge shout out to him. Thank you, John. You are the bomb. Thank you so much, brother. Uh, I wanted to show, show off some of his prices here in case you are looking for some cards because we're talking about the market so access code talker out of eternity code that's the og secret rare you're looking at 60 bucks on his storefront here Bristinatrix lost art are they are a hundred dollars now ladies and gentlemen if that's the case i'm, I'm glad i've held on to mine uh dpe's burst of destiny are 90 bucks uh offerings to the doom if you want lost arts are 50s max c out of the machine reactor structure deck are 30s yeah, Max Caesar. Max Caesar expensive, ladies and gentlemen. And, and you may be saying, well, Avery, I can get cheaper prices somewhere else. But you are getting that Avery LR32 mwah, golden chicken nuggy guarantee, ladies and gentlemen. You know that you're going to get your package and you ain't going to get it six months later like I got mine from some random seller. <laughs> so you're, you're getting that Avery guarantee. And if I'm giving my capital A stamp of approval, you know that it's good. Uh, Dark Magician Gold Rare, sevens, bor Boral Swords, almost said bo booby swords. <laughs> I can't talk today. Seven bucks, Apollosis, eights, uh, Michalis's eights, Spell Striker World Championship, oh, sevens. This is the original Super Rares. Eight bucks. I'm, I actually may want to swipe some of those up. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, Magnificent Maven Chaos Hunters are tens. Uh, Nibiru's are ten dollars. Uh, Lava Golems, this is actually a really good time if you need to get lavas because they are up to the moon, ladies and gentlemen. Ten bucks for a Lava Golem is really not bad ladies and gentlemen uh ultimate rare ham hamstrap mecha phantom beast six bucks they don't seem too bad so yeah th these are really solid prices ladies and gentlemen so if you want that avery guarantee go check out my boy john uh kvi gaming i'm gonna leave a link in the pinned comment section of this video so uh, i want to talk about what is going on in the market so despias ah 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 I am so glad that Branded is like now the top deck because these can start going up again. I still have my ulti Yalu bar. It's near mint. Light play, so someone must have farted on it. $46. Um, you're looking at 50 bucks for near mint. If you want an ulti Yalu bar, you're looking at 150 for a play set. That's really not bad. What's going on in OTS pack 20? We got Alu bars at basically near mint 45s. Rays are only 18s? The fuck? Hello? Uh, cherries are 18, swamps are 75 cents, dwellers are 48 cents, these will go up over time, uh, orange lights are 70 cents, are these rays really only $20, get the fuck out of here, oh, damage, so damage for 20, mods for 25, light place for 30, what's a man gotta do for near men, uh, wow, 30, basically 33 and change, for a near mint ulti ray, that's actually not bad, if you want max rarity sky striker stuff, uh, now might be the time, sugar boo bear, uh, I also want to talk about Photon Hypernova, aka we always nickname core sets and side sets. Uh, Photon Hyper Pricey. Yeah, I think that'll be a good name. Photon Hyper Pricey. 73 on the talents, 78 on the Tri Brigade uh, Starlight. If you watch my case opening, you'll know I didn't pull a fucking Starlight. However, I still managed to make about 50 bucks off the case, which was nice. Pressured Planets. Uh, Lugia is exerting his pressure at $60. You need three of those. Castira Theos Scissor at 40s. You need three of those. <laughs> And a rise hearts drop from 18 to 17. You need two of them things. Uh, th this deck is still like a thousand dollars. Like if you don't have any of the cashier stuff from Darkwing Boo Boo Stain and like the stuff from this set, you're looking at like a thousand dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Ten bucks on tier element cash tier, that's a one of. Uh Rise Hearts basically ten dollars. Those are anywhere from two to three ofs. Uh Gold Pride Leon Secrets are sevens. I don't know why the fuck that is. 
Um, the crowd goes wild is six. That it needs to be like a dollar. The gold pride is trash. Like I know some people were saying you can mix it with like fucking punk, but like you have so many better options in the format than doing that. Uh, Plunder Patrol. A if you're a Plunder Patrol player, I don't know why you haven't picked these up yet because the super rare Jord is only twenty cents. Trevor Karmas are twenty four cents. I've been seeing some people fuck around with this. Uh, Baldrics are ten cents. No reason why you shouldn't have a place out of that. Dogmatica Albazoa. Apparently this thing's really good. It's four thousand attacks, fifteen cent. But Dogmatica is bad, so we don't talk about that. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, this ah here we go. Darkwing Boo Boo Stain. So boxes are ninety five dollars. Jesus Christ. Bisteel Lubellions are eighty five. So Fenrir's Fenrir's are bipolar. They don't know what they want to do, right? Um, these were at like the $50 range. And then right when Photon Hypernova was around the corner, these exploded up to $70. Uh, and then they dropped off the face of the earth again at like 65. And now they're down to like 55 to 60 bucks. Yeah. Once the Japanese one don't matter. Once these two listings are gone, you're back up to 60 bucks. So these are leaving the market, whether you want to play a rogue deck and just run like three Fenrir, three unicorn, these are going up for a reason because they are good. Unicorns are back down to the $17 range. That's that's fine. I mean, I got mine at fucking $14 for free. Yeah, they shot up to 25s, dropped into 19s, and now they're holding the line at like 24. Yeah, people are swiping these up for 17s all day. Yeah, all day. These things hit a peak of 25. I think that was just because a lot of people were experimenting with the deck and you know, we've seen some decks now running like a Cash Tira engine. Like I've seen some Sprite lists play like triple Fenrir, triple Unicorn with a couple Birth, just to have that extra gas because the engine itself is so good. World Sea Dragons Atlantises are sixes. I told you when this shit was four to get your copies. If you haven't got your copies yet, I really don't know what you're waiting on. The buy steals are still kind of maintaining. You're looking at 1450 on Magnemuts, sixes on Druid Worms, Spellbounds are fives. This is another card that if you don't have a play set of, I don't know why the fuck you're waiting because. It, it, it's going to take some time for this card to get broken. It's kind of like Ultimate Slayer. Pick yourself up a playset. Same thing with, with Zelantis. You only need one. Just pick it up just to have. Like pe People say that Yu-Gi-Oh! is expensive, and it is. But it's like, you can pick up this stuff cheap now. Uh, Infinite Track Goliath. I want to talk about this here. Um, it's still kind of cheap. It's only a couple bucks for the Ten of Lost Memories and the Infinity Chasers reprint. It's pennies on the dollar. People are using this uh, because you can banish it uh, with Pot of Prosperity if you're playing uh, Cash Tira. And then with a Rise Heart, when you banish the Goliath face down, you can attach the Goliath as an Xyz material to a Rise Heart because it's a machine. And then Goliath gives that Xyz monster the effect that it can't be destroyed by battle or by card effects. So you don't auto lose to shit like Kaiju Slumber, Raigeki Dark Hole. It's it's really damn good. It's still pennies on the dollar. Uh, so they're, they're about a dollar across the board. Um, so if you don't have your copy, it's just a one of. It's just something to keep in mind. Uh, let's see here. Change of heart. I want to talk about this here. Uh, this $17 one's actually probably more like 30. Uh, the metal Raiders is really only a few bucks. That's actually kind of surprising. I mean, obviously the magnificent mavens, higher rarities are going to be much more. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah. No first edition is out of this world for metal Raiders. Hit me with that first edition near mint first edition metal Raider change of hearts. Wow. Spanish is a hundred dollars and you jump up to one forty and then two thirty six. Whoo! Yeah, no, my my anus is not relaxed for that, ladies and gentlemen. That's disgusting. I mean, if you want OG rarity, I don't know why the fuck you would, honestly. Like, oh, oh my god. Uh, and last up here, uh, well, one of the last couple things I want to talk about this here. Uh, and the band played on uh, original out of Primal Origin. So uh, this was brought to my attention the other day in my comment section on my uh, tier list video. Someone wants me to do a uh, floodgate tier list video, which I will do. Um, but it's an interesting uh, floodgate that people have experimented with over the years. And it says neither player can special summon monsters with the same level as those they control. Neither player can special summon monsters with the same rank as those they control. So the concept here is that, like, you know, if they special summon out a Fenrir because it's level seven, you can activate the band played on. And then they can't special summon anything that's level 7. The problem with this card, though, is that if they have birth, then they can just normal summon, like, another level 7 and still go on with their day. And then they can go, like, Dracosac, make two tokens, pop the fucker. So it, it's cute, but, like, I would rather have Rivalry Gozen or TC Boo. Um, but, I mean, if you want copies, like, even the original Ultras at a Primal Origin, 30 cents on light plays, uh, 52 cents, 56 cents, a, a dollar, like, the... The shit's cheap. I mean, if you want a play set, you do you, boo-boo. I feel like you're better off playing something like Summon Limit. What is going on here in Primal Origin? We got $40 on the Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Ultis. Okay. 
It's actually not terrible. Majesty Fiend Secrets are fives. Uh, Sanctum Ultras are twos. Uh, Medulce and Jelly, or as I like to call it, Man Jelly. Uh, five dollars. You know, and Jelly, Man Jelly, Man Bun, whatever. Uh, Morale Tax, 99 cents. Oh, this is the Bujin set. That's right. C107 is $10. The Randalls are sixes. Wow. Yeah, there is there is no money in this fucking set. This set is garbage. Oh, my Lord. So, and then, you know, we always got to do the typical search in Yu-Gi-Oh! In Yu-Gi-Oh! Last thing that we'll look at here. Blue Eyes White Dragon Platinum Rares. $2,900, basically, with the shipping. And they're getting bought out. They cap out at $9,000. I mean, if you want one, now's your time to do it, Boo Bear. Guys, let me know what you think about the market down in the comments below. Be sure to check out my homie, uh, KVI Gaming. Thank you again, John, for hooking me up with the cards I needed. And I will see you in the next video.